Hey guys, so I am finally back with part 2 of this demo of the Panasonic EHKA71 hair styling kit and this is the product that we are going to be testing out today. Uh, I have just finished having a nice hot bath. I have a little bit of Moroccan oil in my hair. Uh, I used a little Moroccan oil, I don't usually do that but since I am going to be using this hair dryer on my hair and I want a little bit of protection and also uh, just generally the weather right now is very humid so I tend to have a little bit of frizz so uh, prepping the hair before you use uh, any sort of styling tool is important you can you know use the product without uh, any styling products uh, but you're not gonna get the best result um, I don't know if you would consider, consider that a fair way of reviewing the product uh, but I'm just being very honest and realistic about you know the fact that the weather is uh, something to consider while styling your hair. Okay so let's just get into it. So this is the uh, the unit. This is the uh, sorry just adjusting the brightness. Yeah so this is the actual unit. This is the hair drying unit and I'm just going to add some of the attachments now. We're going to start off with the first attachment which is the nozzle and this just slides right on actually the other way. So one thing to notice that a majority of the uh, attachments go on sideways so your buttons are on the side and I think it's kind of nice. I like it so far it's been good to use the product that way. So we're just going to start first on sp uh, the setting 1 and then I'm going to take it up to 3. Uh, I might also fast forward uh, some of the video just so that we can save time. I'm going to be uh, drying my hair to about 80% and I'm also going to just show you quickly what the maximum sound is on this. So I'm using it on now the number 3 setting which is supposed to be the highest speed as well as the highest heat. So that's how loud it gets. It's not very loud honestly. It's kind of comfortable uh, to use this uh, device. Uh, a lot of other hair dryers have been very noisy in the past and this is not like that. This has a, a 59 dB uh, level. Uh, also for those of you who missed out on the unpackaging and sort of some of the features, definitely check out part one of the video and you'll understand much better what this product is about. <laughs> I'd say my hair feels about maybe 70% dry. Uh, the reason I stopped right now is because I want to switch onto another uh, nozzle. I'm going to be using the volumizing tool. Uh, I used the number 3 setting to sort of get as much of the moisture out in my hair. Uh, but since I'm going to be using the volumizing tool as well, uh, I am now just going to switch over at 70% dryness, get the other 10% uh, of my hair dry with a little bit of volume. So this is the attachment and I'm just going to be using that to get the volume in the hair. see that it has definitely added a lot of body to the hair uh, I I think that this tool is something you can use when your hair is at 70% uh, you know when it's still a bit damp and it's a good time to sort of get the volume in and you can also use it once you style the hair if you feel like your hair gets a little flat once you've used any of the styling tools now I'm gonna move on and I'm gonna use the straightening brush so I'm going to use the straightening brush uh, mostly to uh, just sort of smoothen out a lot of the hair and then I'm going to use the round brush and show you all the results of that. So uh, also I'm using pretty much, uh, I'm using the setting 3 on this pretty much for most of the, uh, for most of the things that I'm doing. Okay, 
so this is looking kind of flat but this is as much as I could manage in terms of just sort of getting a slightly straighter sort of blowout and I kind of like it it's really soft and smooth uh, personally I don't dry my hair a lot so this is something I am getting used to so I maybe my demo is not the best demo out there but I'm trying my best uh, but yeah so this is how the hair looks after using the straightening brush and there was a moment where the heat got a little too intense and I felt like my fingers got a little chatka but uh, yeah I just want to show you guys that this is the result now I'm gonna move on to the uh, tool that I love the most and the attachment that I love the most and that is the round brush attachment as of now I've had no sort of problem in terms of this getting caught in my hair or anything like that it's worked out pretty smooth even though all of the products and all of the attachments are sort of like a hard plastic uh, but the plastic is pretty smooth and uh, yeah the results are pretty decent in my opinion so just switching out this for the round brush here we go so i'm just gonna uh, use the sectioning clips i totally forgot about them so i'm just gonna do this part of my hair um, rather using this attachment i'm just going to use the sectioning clips because it's going to be much easier cool. so this is my favorite result it just gives you a really beautiful bouncy curl She calls me day and night I'm sorry, no, you just don't make me feel right I never meant to make you cry, you were right Just leave me be, I'm not gonna put up a fight And every time you wake up, feel I'm wasting me to check the time It's never what it feels like, just throw me in time If everything So this is the result that I managed to do. Uh, I'm not so good with the sectioning bit but you guys can see that it's given me a little bit of a bounce and a curl at the bottom and let me just double check because I'm looking in the mirror uh, if there are any bits that I have missed. Um, I don't think so. I'm just going to adjust this section right here. So yeah, this is like pretty much the result. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I pretty much like it. This is just like the right amount of bounce. It's still uh, because I use the Moroccan oil, it's a little tamer than usual. So maybe it's coming across as a little flat, but I'm pretty happy with the result. Um, like I said, I'm not someone who does my hair very often. So maybe this is like not the best sort of result that you know there are some people who are really good at this uh, but in terms of whatever little bit I could do I'm pretty happy with it uh, I'm just going to show you the last uh, attachment now and that's this little curling tool thing which I'm not particularly fond of but it's all right uh, we're just going to try it on this little section here uh, I would suggest taking a slightly thicker section since the barrel is pretty thin so what you're gonna have to do is clip the thing first, clip the end of the hair, I mean, uh, clip the end of the hair first, and then roll it from the bottom up, and then use the highest heat. It's a little bit better than before. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, but yeah, I think this attachment is okay. I just prefer a lot of the other ones compared to this. Uh, so yeah, so this is what the product is like. I don't know uh, what you guys think of it, but I'm quite happy with it. Uh, I do need a little bit of practice. Like when I look at my hair, I just feel like I could do a much better job. So yeah, I hope the review helped you guys decide. I know I'm like, I really wish I maybe had somebody else to demo this on because I'm not the best at doing this on myself. Um, 
but yeah i do like the product i don't think that this is the best attachment in the kit it's okay uh, everything else is great i really find it easy to use this since it's so lightweight and all the other attachments are pretty good so for the price point i think um that is a good investment if you're someone who is looking for an alternative to the license i definitely would recommend this one uh, i might be doing a different uh, product review in a couple of weeks uh, and if you all are interested in seeing another option which is slightly more expensive than this but um supposed to be a more professional brand then i'm going to show you that in some time as well uh but yeah this is what you can expect and uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments uh, like i said it's my first time doing like a hair product review on my channel and lots of love and i shall see you guys soon ciao